Hey what's up it's Hugo here, today I'm going to show you how to stream media whether it's movies or music to your iPhone, iPod and iPad. Now we're going to be doing this using an application called AirPlay by Digitary Software and allows you to stream your media straight from your computer to your mobile devices and as you can see it also will be available for Android very very soon. Now the way this works is you need to download two little applications both on your computer and on your mobile device and both of them are totally free. Let me just quickly show you what it does and then I'll show you how to set it up. On your mobile device you'll be able to access your media stored on your computer but only the ones you're willing to share and from there you can stream it straight on your phone so you do not need to re-download the movie for example. You just need to play and it will take about 5-6 seconds to load and you'll be able to watch the whole movie in very very nice quality. Now if you started watching a movie and you stopped in the middle, next time you go back to that movie it will ask you if you want to start again where you left off or if you just want to start the whole movie again. Now right now I'm showing you this on an iPhone 3GS but of course if you have an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 4S you will have even better quality uh, with the new Retina display. So now that I show you what it does I'm quickly going to show you on the computer how to set it up. It's pretty easy but still there's a few options that you can uh, tweak and uh, I'm going to show you how, how that works. Once you've downloaded and installed the application on your computer you can actually go ahead and start setting up your server first by naming it and then simply by putting it on or off and in the footer you can see if it's running or not. Now at the right side you have a few information about the IP addresses you need to uh, fill in to connect to your computer and on the second tab you're able to set up permissions which can be really handy especially if you have kids you don't want them to see uh, aggressive or violent movies you can set up a group uh, dedicated to them with their own password and then it avoids any problem you also have a public group and you can also require uh, the public group to um, fill in a password to connect to your computer now the next tab is a list where you can add folders uh, that you wish to share with uh, your devices and for every single folder you add to this list you can actually select which permission group is allowed to access the folder now the next tab is the converter. Now, I think by now most of you are aware that your mobile device is not able to play every single format out there so you can go ahead and use the built-in converter to convert your movie and you have a lot of different settings and then you can still play them back on your device. The next tab is the web access and this allows other people around the world to actually access through their browser. They can download the movies straight from your computer uh, on their browser which can be pretty handy if you want to share movies like that. Now the final tab has some basic settings that you can set up, for example, starting the application at login, uh, setting up a custom port, and setting um, the folder where AirPlay is going to convert the movies to. That's it for my review and tutorial on how to use AirPlay. Hopefully you guys check it out. It's 100% free, so why not give it a try? And I'll thank you a lot for watching. Hopefully it helped. Be sure to leave some comments if you have any questions on how it works. If you have any problems, I can always give it a try and answer your question. Anyway, be sure to check out my channel if you haven't already, and it has a tons of different tutorials and whatnot. I thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.